guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today will be a sewing tutorial but you won't require a sewing machine to do this so technically if you don't know how to sew you can definitely do this tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute fur pom-pom. Now if you've seen these pom-poms they're all over the place you can buy them in stores online everywhere even Kate Spade has a version of this for like 80 bucks or something ridiculous. Super cute, super easy, and not only is this great as a little keychain on your purse, but people are putting them on the top of their hats. So their winter hats and even baseball hats, surprisingly. So if you're interested in learning how to make this pom-pom stick around, um, all the instructions will also be over at my blog. So all those links will be in the down bar. Um, please hit me up on all my social media. If you do make this, I would love to see your creation. So hashtag me charmed by Ashley so I can see it. And thanks so much for watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your fur. So I found this at Fabricland and I really loved it. And then you're gonna find a circle object. I'm using a saucer, but I would say that the saucer was a little bit too big. So I'm gonna say probably about um, five inches in diameter would probably be good. So you're just going to trace around your circle object and cut it out with some sharp scissors. And then once you're done that, you're going to go get your needle and thread. I'm going to recommend using a really heavy duty thread. I'm using upholstery thread just because it's very strong. You will be tugging on this um, thread a lot, so the stronger the better. If you are using a regular thread, then I would definitely double it up. So you also need some uh, polyester fiber fill, and if you are making this into a keychain, then your keychain findings. So now I'm just gonna cut off a long piece of thread and making sure that it will go all the way around that circle. Um, I'm just going to put a knot at the end, and this is how teacher showed me back in the old days to make a nice big knot. It's messy, but it's a big knot, so that's all that matters. And I'm going to start sewing around the perimeter of the circle. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to be doing a regular sew. Don't pull the thread tight as you're going. Just you know, get all the whole entire edges of the circle, get the uh, the thread in it, and then at the end, then that's when we will pull it tight. So I'm just going to continue doing that until I've sewed all the way around. And then once you're done that, you're going to get your polyester fill and pull on the string a little bit just to start it from like start to curl up it's basically making like a little ball and then you're gonna get your fill and put some in it it's a little bit tricky to keep the fill in so just gotta you're like holding the fur plus keeping the fill in and also holding the string at the same time so it can be a little tricky so try to close it up as much as you can because of the um, because there's so much like the thickness of the fur it will want to open back up again so you're gonna start sewing basically sew across like in a zigzag pattern just to really close up that hole. Making sure to stick any of the fill in if any of it comes peeking out. And then once you have it nicely closed up, then you're going to knot it and then attach your finding if you choose to do this. So because I have the upholstery thread, um, I trust that if I attach the finding with that, then it's gonna stay connected so I'm just gonna loop around that a couple times just to make sure it's nice and secure 
So as you can see, it's a pretty messy process. This fur does get pretty messy when you're cutting it. So I would recommend this being an outdoor project too. So for the end of it, I'm just taking my needle and I'm sticking it right through the ball and out the other side and then I will snip it. Basically, if you've ever made anything out of like crochet or knitting, this is how they do it. It hides the end of the yarn on the inside. I'm just afraid that if I cut it too short that it would unravel. So give yourself a little bit of length and that's less likely to happen. So that's pretty much it. And I think it came out really cute and I love this fur. So I attached it to my purse. I'm also thinking about winter hats that I could attach them to. And I know that I'm not too great at making pom-poms out of yarn. So if I can use one of these, then you know it looks really nice and professional. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment down below. Share with your friends if you know anybody who would also like this project. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!